start recording now. So uh, I'm, I'm here today with Arlene. I'm congratulating Arlene on completing the 12-week Momentum Energy online program. She's a graduate of the program and she'll be receiving a diploma in the post. So we'll be sending It's that. my only diploma, Daniel. I'm so excited. <laughs> You've, you've, you've passed 12 weeks with the Momentum NRG Fitness Online. Uh, I just want you to t talk about the kind of things that you were maybe struggling with before starting on your health transformation journey. Right. Well, I thought the whole course was terrible for a start. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, right. Uh, well, my, my journey started um, when I was quite at a low ebb, as you know, and... Um, I don't know if you picked up on that, but my God, you were like a dog with a bone and you wouldn't let it go. And actually, I'm so glad that you were there because I needed some things that at the moment, at that, that time, I was going through quite a lot of personal stuff. And um, mentally, I was struggling more than physically, although I, I wasn't happy with a lot of things. I'm in a job where I have to stand up in front of people. I have to be really confident. And when inside you're not feeling that way it's really difficult to project that confident person that people are expecting so i was at a really pretty bad ebb really at the time and uh, you came along and said right shut your face stop moaning and let's do this and um, in a nice way obviously and i said oh but it's coming up to christmas and new year and i don't think i'll be able to and i'm so busy it's my busy year you went yeah 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 i heard it all before and i'm so glad that we stuck with it We've had some ups and downs. I've been ill a couple of times, I think with workload and stuff, but actually I think uh, overall it's been a really good education for me because it's not about what I eat, although you know I know, I know when I'm dipping into the biscuit tin or the bag of crisps that I shouldn't be eating that, but it's more about getting the balance right and making sure that I'm eating small and often throughout the day, making healthier choices, and it's the movement, the exercise every day. And you've got me into that habit and I'm really enjoying it. Excellent. So what, what kind of things had you tried before coming on the programme? Had you tried to fix this yourself? Yes, I had tried to fix Oh, God, yes, I've tried everything. I've tried the juicing. I've tried the lemon and, um, was it cinnamon, sort of spring water drinks five times a day. I've tried cutting out carbs. I've tried cutting out protein. <laughs> I've cut, I've tried cutting out pretty much everything really um but it's it's getting that balance and it's getting into the habit and I think that's what what is different about this it's having that support you have to do it on your own that's the thing and that's what I need I need I needed the support and the pushing to get me onto this and now that I have that I'm really kind of quite excited about motivating myself and getting it done and um, I'm prioritizing exercise and making sure I'm bringing in my own porridge and having little snacks like I had a you'll be pleased with me actually Daniel I had um, a tinfoil thing of full of grapes and some some kind of natural nuts uh, a yogurt I brought soup yesterday and take my porridge in with me so that kind of thing I'm just trying to be more organized and writing a diary is good because I can plan ahead now Excellent. So I, I want to dig a bit deeper, actually. Uh, now, this isn't, I'm just, I'm just coming off the cuff here. Uh, this isn't pre-scripted or anything like that. You know, going back to digging deep into uh, you starting the programme with me back in kind of October time, and you were stuck. You, 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 you tried to, to be honest, you tried to delay it, and you said, yes. I want to start back in January. And then I came back and I pushed you because I knew what was on the other side. So tell me a bit more about kind of why you were stuck. Um, I think in, in my head, I know what I want, but the journey to get there, it puts me off. And then I kind of go, well, I'm really busy. I get up early in the morning. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit this into my day. Therefore, what's the point? And I think it was, it was mind over matter. That's what was holding me back. It was my own ability to motivate myself. That was the big thing. And the, the less I did, the more I ate. You know, if I wasn't exercising, what's the point in eating healthily? I'll just stuff my face, why, why not? And then of course I'm, I'm going up and up in dress sizes and I'm, I'm having to buy more dresses because the ones in the wardrobe don't fit anymore, that kind of thing, or they're a bit tight where they're not supposed to be. Um, so that was my sticking point. It's mind over matter has always been. I need that push to get over a certain point 
and if you hadn't pushed me I think I would have eaten far too much over Christmas drunk far too much over Christmas no exercise I would have been absolutely horrific right now I think I would have been starting from and then I wouldn't have done it because what's the point I'd gone yeah. to a point so far that I'm just like, no point I, do, I feel horrible I feel self-conscious I'm not happy in myself I don't think I'll bother and that that's 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 the downward spiral isn't it that's the problem so I think if you hadn't pushed at that time in October mentally I wasn't great anyway physically I was all right but not happy there was early elements that I wanted to change and by actually not putting up with any of my nonsense and then being there and supporting me and talking me through it and giving me you know a sort of do you really need that kind of attitude occasionally it's good um you know tempting though it is to lie in my diary I didn't often yeah but um I, I, you, I needed that push. That's where I was. It yeah. is emotionally and physically, I was done. Okay. So when when we first made the initial push, you know, when I got you signed up, I want you to talk about what you tried to do because you contacted me. You said you wanted to do the program. You filled out the application form. You were all ready to go. Uh, we're ready to have that momentum call. What did you then do? I, I messaged you back saying, now is not a good time. We'll do it in January. Because then I thought, <laughs> how am I? <laughs> because it was, it was genuinely, how am I going to fit this in? Because I've never prioritised exercise into my, my life. It's always family, work, uh, maybe socialising, and then exercise comes in right down at the bottom of the list. Um, and I've realised that actually, and I'm, I'm 52 now, and I sit in my job essentially apart from running up the stairs in three minutes and 20 seconds to get coffees for everybody other than that in four or five hours i sit at a radio mic you know so i realize that when i get up i have to get up in stages you yeah. know because everything is seized up and there comes a point in your life you've got to take control of it you've got to do something about it only you can do that you know and, yeah. and so going going and seeing a um you know, a personal trainer in the gym, it's great. It gives you the indicators. But if you're only doing that once a week and then not following it up with daily sessions on your own or, you know, th there's really no point. Yeah. So going back to that question again then, so what was my response when you came back and you said you wanted to change, change it to January? Well, no was your response. Give <laughs> me <laughs> a second. See you later. Okay. I better go. No. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Sorry about that. That's right. um, yes, your response was, no, I'm not having it. Great. And I was like, oh my God, he's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this and, is. Yeah, so essentially you said, no, because this is absolutely the right time. I've listened to what you had to say. You know, we've gone through all of the points that, that you're unhappy with. And if you don't start this now, this is, this is a recipe for disaster. So again, you, you picked up on all of the stuff we talked about. You'd given it some thought and you'd made an assessment that actually now was absolutely the right time. And yeah. um, I'm, I'm really glad I did because I, I've, I've gone through quite a lot of sort of very difficult, challenging personal things in the last three months. And I don't think if I had the focus of the exercise and the diet, I, I don't, I don't know. I think I would have reached for wine actually. Okay. Okay. That that's, it's not my answer, but if I'm, if I'm in a situation where I just, I can't, I feel like I, I can't get out of it. I, I would have opened a bottle of wine okay. most definitely. And I still have the on blast, you know this, because we've had this debate, but <laughs> what I'm doing instead is going for a run or going to the gym or, yeah. You know, going for a really good walk outside and getting some fresh air and that's you reminding me about what's important and you know I, I'm the only person that can fix this so if you hadn't said <laughs> no I don't think so yeah <laughs> I think yeah. we need to just push on with this Absolutely. you can get through Christmas and New Year you know um and if I'm being perfectly honest, Daniel, I honestly thought I'd throw in the towel long before this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because wow. I, that is my way, throw in the towel, yeah. not going well, not bother. Yeah. And, um, yeah. 
it's been really good. I mean, you've had some, you, it's been funny because you've sent me some messages going, is anyone there? <laughs> <laughs> There's radio silence, what's going on? You know, and again, if I was having a very difficult time or whatever, eventually I'd come back and go, right, I'm really sorry, I lost a couple of days, but you know, yeah. I've, been, I've been watching what I'm eating and I'm, I'm back. So, it, 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 you know, I think everybody has issues in their life, whether it's work related or personal or, you know, whatever the reasons, financial or whatever, but it, what's most important, and I know this, Sometimes it's just difficult to do something about it is my health, my mental well-being. You know, everything about that is the number one thing because if I'm not healthy and happy, then my fam family aren't, my friends aren't. You know, I, I have to look after number one. And so it's, you have to invest in yourself. Yeah. So to, looking at the four pillars to success, so one is being measurements and... The, the progress pictures and the, the, you know weigh in etc. How how tell me about the success of that then in terms of pillar number one. You know it's quite interesting because um, I have had a, a couple of chunks of time where I've been unwell and and um, and also <clears throat> away as well working. But um, in terms of weight, interestingly, there hasn't. I mean, obviously, I dropped a bit, and then over Christmas things have crept up ever so slightly. But it's not the weight thing that was my focus. It was the change in my body shape and also the way I, I feel about myself. So the progress pictures and actually the measurements, that's been really quite enlightening. And I see yeah. it in myself. I, I see there's more um, definement in my, my sort of my body shape, um, the stomach, which was always my massive issue. You know, everything else I can get by with, but stomach you know, two children and various operations and stuff is like a burst couch. Well, it's less of a burst couch. I would say excellent, it's more... Excellent. It's more squidgy chair now than a burst couch. And so it's going the right way. <laughs> well, I, I am going to be sharing your progress pictures. And, you know, when, when I yeah. seen your first initial pictures, they were excellent. You know, they're, they're brilliant. You can see the physical change in your body in yeah. quite a short period of time as well. Yes, you know, yeah. Your, your, your back muscles look more toned, your, yeah. your, glu your glutes are more toned, your arms yeah. are more toned. Yeah. Your physical appearance has changed as well. You know, you can see yes. the difference. It's, it's brilliant, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exercise, I think you've reversed. Your, 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 you said you were 52. I think this has taken you back a few yeah. years, you know. I think I've taken you back 10. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's nonsense. We know that's nonsense. But no, I, I do. No, seriously, do feel, you can see the difference. Yeah, well, you do feel different. And I've had a lot of people saying, God, what are you doing? Because you look, you know, you look different. You're glowing. You're doing this. You're doing that. You know, that's what and, I'm talking uh, about. Yeah, yeah, you're looking glowing. Yeah. You're looking better. You can see it. You can see it on the progress picture, certainly, as well. Yes, it's, yeah. So it's been, it's been good. And it's really good having that. And I'm going to continue with that. Just brilliant. Sort of taking some shots and just keeping them and just referring back to them and stuff 100 percent pillar number one measure of success you need to monitor progress because how do you know what you're doing exercise wise is having an effect on your performance so yeah you're going to continue with these pillars now this is you on your yeah. journey now this is giving you the step that you need the stairway to success you know yes. so you're going to you're going to need those you're going to need those pictures to keep motivating keep doing the measurements we're not going to lose touch either. I'm going to keep a track yeah. on it and make sure, you know what I'm like, I'm quite persistent. So yes, uh, I know. You, you won't get rid of me. <laughs> but then we've got pillar I'm number... I'm feeling I'm going to have to move house and change the number. <laughs> <laughs> so pillar number two, tell me more about that because that's the nutrition analysis. Tell me how that works, just so that people know. Yes, if, if what's, what's been really interesting for me because um, I go to work at about five o'clock in the morning and sometimes I'm not home till two and I would maybe have a porridge or whatever, but then eat nothing until I got home about two, half two or whatever. And by that time I was so hungry, I was just eating anything. So it's crisps or cake or anything that was to hand that was quick and easy whilst I prepared a healthier lunch. So um, the, 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 the nutrition and the balance sort of finding out about um different scales so you know kind of the, the healthier options you know so instead of choosing i don't know even banana go for sort of more grapes or have oranges or, or whatever um but the, the biggest thing for me is the five point plan in your day 
for eating. So, you know, marking it down. So, you know, breakfast is porridge and honey or whatever. Two is maybe an orange or whatever. Three, lunch, maybe poached eggs or, or a soup that I brought in. Four would be maybe a handful of nuts or an oat cake with a wee bit of um, sort of low fat cream cheese or something or a bit of salmon or something. And then five is a healthier meal, predominantly more vegetables and stuff. But, you know, a balance of things, whether it's balanced protein and carbs and whatever. So that has been really good, actually eating regularly. So I'm not having drops in blood sugar level, which was always my problem before, I think. And I, yeah. you're under the impression that the less you eat, the more weight you will lose. But of course, your, your body accounts for that and, and yeah. sort of rebalances. So that's been really good for me. And I'm going to continue with that because it, 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 it's better for me. You talked about the rebalance. I'm liking that you were listen, paying attention to my weekly presentations on nutrition yeah. as well. I could get an A on this exam, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third pillar. So we talk about the third pillar being the, the programming. Yeah, how did that work? Tell me more about how, how we programmed it in for you. This is the difference, you see. Um, this is what's made the difference. Is sitting with you every week saying, right, Let's look at, um, you know, food, first of all. So what have you got planned for this week? You know, right, make sure you, you go in and you get your shop for the week. Make sure you've got your healthy snacks. So you go for them rather than the unhealthy options. So being organized there. But it's planning in the exercise. That's, that's another massive thing for me because, as I mentioned before, exercise was way down the priority list. If I could squeeze it in or maybe I was meeting a friend for a wee jog, then that's fine. It would get done. But everything else, too busy at work, family need me, folk come in for dinner, exercises out the window. So sitting with you and planning the week. Now, sometimes things have to change or something crops up, but then I swap, maybe going to the gym with a home workout or a, like today, for example, the A1 is shut because of horrendous winds. It's yeah. awful out there. So instead of running outside, I'm going to go to the gym and just uh, do my program on the treadmill and then do a core workout as well. So actually sitting and looking at your week the busy days you maybe do a really brisk walk or you maybe do a, a, an office or a home workout and then on the days you've got a bit more time then make it a gym or a swim or you know but I'm walking pretty much every day I'm making sure I'm getting out and getting some fresh air so planning that the third pillar yeah. has been so, an eye opener so that's the fourth pillar sorry that's the fourth pillar fourth, sorry yeah plan, so the, the, the but that's great great answer you're you're jumping ahead you're jumping you're ahead of the game you're 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 flying <laughs> the third pillar was the periodized training so the fourth pillar was the the planning the planning. time management planning you've explained that really yeah. quite clearly there how we plan it ahead so let's talk about pillar 3 then in terms of the the approach to the training yeah yes it's been great because um, what I have found in the past that you, you tend to go to the gym and you kill yourself in your first session and it puts you off. <laughs> and you think, I can't do this. It's exhausting. I can't breathe. And it's, you know, it's uncomfortable. Whereas the, the training that, that we've done is you start, not easy, but you start and let your body adjust to it. So as soon as you, 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 know, you choose a weight that's good for you if you're at the gym or whatever, and it's about building up the repetition. So once your body's thinking, right, one week I'm, I'm on 15 reps, next week I'm going to go to 18 reps, the week after I'm at 21. And if you get to that point and things are feeling a bit easy, then you up the weight and you go back to lowering the reps. Absolutely. So I understand that totally. And, yeah. um, you know, it, and I understand you have to change it up. So having the two workouts and things, it's, it's yeah. been really good. Brilliant. Because, you know, what, that's what you're going to have to do is every four weeks you change it. it pretty, yeah. it's, it's pretty simple, really. And then you go back to the start, you change the reps, you build them back up again, and you just do different yeah. programs. And you, you, you can, you've got lots of programs to work with now that you can yes. take on forever, you know, and you, you can always be back in touch, get a program made up and we can periodize it yourself. You know, it's been able to do this yeah. on, your, on your own. So what's been, the, the, what's been different about this program than anything you've ever done before? Why, why, why has um, it worked for you? It's worked for me because... Always in my head, I know what I need to do, but I've never had the self-motivation or the annoying man on my shoulder looking <laughs> over what I'm doing. I'm not that annoying. I'm about you here. <laughs> um, no, just I've never had that person just checking that I'm actually doing what I know I'm supposed to do. Whereas having you there has, has got me past that point of throwing in the towel, which I would do on my own. 
yeah. to a point where I'm enjoying it so much and I'm seeing the benefits and feeling the benefits that I want to continue on this journey. So mentally and physically, I'm, I'm ready to just continue and improve. So there's been a big change in me, but I'm not finished yet. I want to keep just not dieting because I'm still eating healthily and I'm not starving myself, but also just doing the exercise, moving every day. And I feel really supple. I don't have aches and pains when I stand up. I don't have creaks when I stand up. Um, I've got more energy you know, life is a lot more positive, both mentally and physically. And I just need to keep on with this journey, but I wouldn't have done it without you. Excellent. Thank you. So that's brilliant. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I've got one more question for you. Uh, yes. And the, the final question is, what would you say to anybody that's watching this video now in terms of when to start, how to start? What would you say to them to get them off the fence? What would you say to anybody that's sitting on the fence? You have to do it for you. You know, your health is far too important to put aside for now because there's other things happening. Life is busy. It's never going to get less busy. So just embrace it. Do it. It's all about planning. Um, Dan will help you through it step by step until you get into that momentum and then you're on your own. And it's a, a great thing to do for you. It's an important thing to do. It's an essential thing to do. Excellent. Fantastic, Arlene. Thanks very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Keep the momentum going. I look forward to seeing those progress pictures continue as yeah. well. Uh, yeah. they're, they're, we're going to see much more because you've now started the journey and we're now just, you, you're going to scale up even further now. You, 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 you've done this at the right time. There's there's never a, a you, you hit the nail in the head. There's never a good time. Now is the time. You know, yes. time yes. does not stand still. And yes. I'm so pleased I pushed you, you know, because I push people from the start. I don't mess around and I was quite direct with you and I said, well, here's the thing, you've told me that you want yes. this, this and this and this. Yeah. You know? And I was only repeating what you you wanted to hear. I could have been, oh yeah, you know what, come back in, in, in January yeah. early and, and, and we'll start in January. Because I knew in January you, you, you'd, be, you'd be still saying the same, let's start in yeah. March then, let's start in the summertime. So yeah. well done, yeah. congratulations on your success. I'm so pleased you've got that mojo, the momentum back, you've got your <laughs> energy levels back. Yeah. You're back to being yourself again, really. Well done, congratulations. Yeah. And the, the progress pictures for me have been great as well. And just seeing you with a smile on your face and a spring in your step with your new, your new Brooks trainers. My new bouncy yeah. trainers. Yes, brilliant. So <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much. I'm going to stop recording now. There we go. There we go.